You're not, not going to raise your voice again. I'm You're not, not going to raise my voice again. again. I'm not. I will have you removed from this courtroom. I consented to you without you being present. Yes, ma'am. You don't conduct I yourself. I understand, young. Thank you. <clears throat> but I will say, I'm sorry for your loss. 19 years I've been at this job. I've seen human beings killed at the hands of others in every way imaginable. You name it, I've seen it. Shooting, stabbings, drownings, suffocates, blown apart by uh, cars and DUI manslaughter cases. Horrible things. This is the worst case I have ever seen as far as the facts go. Um, I... Um, when they fire, when the person from the um, fire department, when he testified, and when he said that he retrieved the body of Ronivia O'Neill from the home, and all he could do was sob. It took every ounce I had not to start sobbing too. Because there is no way any person with any feeling could have witnessed or seen the photos of what occurred that night and not be haunted for the rest of your life. I know I will be. For the rest of my life, I'll be haunted by what I saw as far as the evidence and just the abject cruelty of it all, the abject cruelty. And I, you know, I, I, I was aware, because I reviewed a lot of the discovery ahead of time, as you well know, did a lot of in-camera inspection of a lot of documents. And I was aware that there was some evidence, at least, that when you needed to recover from your gunshot wound, that neither your parents nor your Aisha, Miss Robinson, would let you come recover at their home. I don't know if